The history preserved at Oak Hill Cemetery in Lawrence, Kansas, dates to the Civil War era. After the devastation of Quantrill's raid in 1863, the residents of Lawrence desired a new cemetery designed in the style of the rural cemetery movement to be the final resting place for the raid victims. As an early and excellent example of a rural cemetery in Kansas, Oak Hill exhibits the characteristic features of the movement. Its high promontory of the original sections, meandering roadways, and mature trees, some being older than the cemetery itself. Erosion from these gentle hills and the encroachment of these ancient root systems have greatly contributed to the disturbance of many of the oldest grave markers. In the spring of 2018, the Douglas County Heritage Conservation Council, concerned with deteriorating conditions at Oak Hill Cemetery and recognizing that historic cemeteries are an important part of our cultural landscape, planned a two-day hands-on learning experience led by Corey Thomas, a cemetery restoration specialist. There was no charge to the 50 participants who represented 19 communities from across the state of Kansas and who were of all ages and levels of experience. They received instruction about proper methods of cleaning stones and landscape maintenance. They were instructed in the proper use of the different mortars and the correct method of resetting stones, always with the admonition of first, do no harm. All work was completed in accordance with the Secretary of Interior Standards for the Treatment of Historic Properties, particularly Preservation Brief 48, Preserving Grave Markers in Historic Cemeteries. This workshop and video entitled Tombstones on the Kansas Prairie, a Cemetery Conservation Workshop, was made possible by a Historic Preservation Fund grant received from the Kansas State Historic Preservation Office with the support of the Douglas County Commission and the City of Lawrence. The Douglas County Heritage Conservation Council is proud to be the sponsor of this event. Video production by Maddie D. Media. The workshop has been financed in part with federal funds from the National Park Service, a division of the United States Department of the Interior, and administered by the Kansas Historical Society. The contents and opinions, however, do not necessarily reflect the view of policies of the United States Department of the Interior or the Kansas Historical Society.